What equipment is needed for crypto mining? Crypto mining is a profitable way to earn cryptocurrency. The process of validating transactions on a Bitcoin blockchain involves solving complex math problems and achieving a consensus of 51%. Miners use their computing and their computer's power to solve more problems for the networks. These processes can cost thousands of dollars, but they are well worth the money. Anyone can become a miner and start earning immediately. Listed below are some of the advantages that we're gonna talk about. High quality, reliable equipment and things that you will need to invest in the hardware and software to maximize your profitability. You will need to buy mining hardware. Buying a single GPU and CPU will only waste electricity, time, and equipment life. Nevertheless, cryptocurrency mining is one of the best ways to make money. Several Texas brothers are more than 30K a month by mining crypto. Just be aware of some disadvantages. Before you start the process, you must decide and determine your skills, your budget, and your equipment. The cryptocurrency market is a popular alternative to traditional banking. You understand the benefits of crypto mining. You must first understand how centralized and decentralized systems differ. In a centralized system, there's a single authority that records each transaction, making it difficult to do the same thing twice. Moreover, you need much more equipment and less expensive power to mine more coins. So many people have made money with cryptocurrency mining using pools. It's important to understand that the more people mine, the less return you get. Despite its benefits, the downside of crypto mining is high cost. For one, it requires a lot of computing power and electricity. The process is not easy. It can lead to blackouts and a rise in power bills. Moreover, you will have to invest in a motherboard, a cooling system, and a stable internet connection. Secondly, it requires a reliable internet connection, which is essential for the mining process. In addition to this, crypto mining is beneficial for the environment, but it can be also a downside to the environment because of the electricity. Now we're gonna go back to the fact that it is a decentralized alternative to a traditional banking system. It is possible to mine crypto on your own and in your own home, but you need specialized software to mine the cryptocurrency. In addition, you will need a reliable connection as we discussed. Furthermore, you must be a member of a crypto pool if you really want to participate in a profitable activity. Once you've learned the intricacies of the crypto world, you'll be able to make a profit from it. However, there are also risks involved in crypto mining. In addition to the risk of losing money, cryptocurrency mining can result in blackouts and high power bills. Consequently, it's important to consider all these factors to ensure that you have a profitable crypto mining experience. Once you've chosen your mining pool, you can start mining. You can begin with the first coins for free with a free trial. You can always switch to a higher end machine and purchase more advanced hardware later on. The process of crypto mining can be profitable if you're knowledgeable about it. The benefits of cryptocurrency mining are enormous, but there are some disadvantages too. For one, it's very difficult to make money on a small scale. You need a computer with at least three CPUs, a GPU and a couple of GPUs. You need a lot of space to place the hardware, which is why it's important to have a high-end machine. To be profitable in crypto mining, you need to invest a lot of money in the necessary equipment. The cost of mining a single unit of cryptocurrency is huge, so you need a high-end PC. While you can use your PC to mine, it's still better to invest in a GPU to maximize your profits. A GPU is more expensive than a CPU, and a GPU is more powerful than a CPU, so you need to take a look at the processing power to earn from your work. The technology required for cryptocurrency mining is very sophisticated. You need special hardware to solve the complicated cryptographic equations, but a simple CPU chip will do the trick. You also need a reliable internet connection, as we discussed, to be able to mine the cryptocurrencies. In addition to a powerful computer, you'll need to be a member of a crypto pool to really jump into the, the game. That is great, but you're going to be splitting your profits as well. If you join a crypto mining pool, you'll be able to share those profits so with the other miners of your pool. So let's go ahead and dive in a little further. Crypto mining. How do we do crypto mining? Um, now, we talked about with crypto mining pools, you'll be able to share the profits with other miners. With crypto mining, we're going to learn a little bit about crypto mining in general. The cryptocurrency mining industry has many advantages, including a higher return on investment than other investing options. Unlike traditional banks, Bitcoin's blockchain allows users to view and exchange transactions without the risk of being faked. The proof of work equations used in a blockchain process, each transaction and adding them to the change record keeps them secure. 
as people start mining, the network updates the entire ledger to ensure there are no discrepancies. To mine cryptocurrencies, miners use specialized equipment to perform millions of con computer equations to create a new block. The first miner to produce the required output shares it with the network, which double checks the output. The miner is then rewarded with a specific amount of crypto. To begin mining, you need a powerful computer and a crypto wallet to store your private keys. If you don't already have a crypto wallet, you can get one for free from a reputable online realtor. To begin mining cryptocurrencies, you need to understand how centralized and decentralized systems work. For instance, traditional banking has a centralized a central authority that records every transaction, which is why it's very easy to tamper with these systems. The decentralized system can be more secure and prevent a multitude of problems from arising. By establishing a decentralized system, the mining industry has become the fastest growing sector in the financial industry. When deciding whether to mine, you need to decide what you like to do. You can choose to either join a crypto mining group or you can work independently. The benefits of working independently are minimal, but the potential profits are enormous. A Texas couple who have been earning 30,000 a month mining cryptocurrency have discovered that they can earn a full-time income from this hobby. You can't go wrong if you choose to make mining a profitable business. As a beginner, you need to understand though the differences between a centralized and decentralized system thoroughly. You also need to learn about cryptocurrencies and how they work. The cryptocurrency market is an alternative to traditional banking, so it's a different way of looking at it. As the cryptocurrency market is an alternative to the traditional banking system, this way you avoid the hassle of dealing with a centralized authority. In addition, you'll be more likely to make better use of your time as a decentralized mining company. The cryptocurrency market is an alternative to traditional banking, and with this, because of this, it can be more reliable and more secure than a centralized system. You'll be able to access your money anywhere you want, and you'll be awarded for that. Rewarded with coins you can keep forever. If you're an avid Bitcoin user, crypto mining can be lucrative and a great investment for you. It's easy to get started. In addition to making money, you can make cryptocurrency projects for your own enjoyment. You can also use it to make Bitcoins. For the first step in the cryptocurrency market, you need to learn the differences between currencies and cryptocurrencies. You can also use your own business. And when you're ready, you can start maximizing the profits with a decentralized mining company. The main goal of a business in this type of business is to ensure you'll be able to participate in the world's largest currency. Whether you're interested in mining Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can make a profit with a decentralized cryptocurrency mining business. It doesn't matter whether you're just starting to mine Bitcoins or you're already an experienced investor, you can earn a large profit from this type of mining. You don't need a lot of money to get started with a business model at least. You can make money and do this on the side. However, you must also be patient as it takes hours to get started with the business and can lead to days and months, maybe even years. Why you can use your PC to mine Bitcoin, it's recommended to invest in a cryptocurrency mining company. This is a very simple way to earn a lot of money on cryptos and get started pretty easily. You need to have a high powered PC to start mining, but you need more powerful PCs and a stronger one to earn more. The benefits of using the services are endless. Just make sure you read the privacy policies before you invest your money. Different newsletters are packed with expert advice and information on how to start a profitable business with cryptocurrency. You can start with crypto mining. It's not easy as it's not as easy as it seems. It's highly energy intensive and requires a lot of energy costs uh, in electricity sources. It is a complex computing process that requires a large amounts of computing power. A single Bitcoin transaction requires 1.544 kWh, which is equivalent to 53 days of electricity for the average US household. Some countries have banned it. Others are centering it. You should consider these risks if you want to build a successful business. Let's talk about crypto mining and who can mine. Can anyone mine cryptocurrency? If you've wondered and this is a big thing because a lot of times I've wondered, can anyone, anybody mine cryptocurrency? So if you've wondered how to make money mining cryptocurrency, you can make a lot of it from home. Bitcoin miners get paid a small amount of Bitcoin every time they verify a transaction on the blockchain. They do this by computing a 64 digit hexadecimal number and storing it on their computer. They then sell that digital currency to anyone who needs it. The reward for this task is minimum, but it can be very lucrative if you get enough equipment and access cheap power. 
However, crypto mining can be complicated. There are many factors you need to consider before starting mining cryptocurrencies. Why some people prefer to mine only some coins, you should also be aware of the environmental impact, legal risk, and other costs that come with massive an initiative with cryptocurrency. There are a lot of different ways to get involved in mining and make money from it. Here are a few of the most popular options for you. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with them. The first step in cryptocurrency mining is understanding how the process works. Whether you like to make money from home or work, you must cover the upfront costs and ongoing expenses. Another factor you want to consider is the potential legal and environmental implications of the process. Because diving into crypto mining, you need to know your goals and understand the process. You also need to consider the financial risk. To get started, start with a small budget and see how that goes. You can also start by joining the mining pool to share your profits. This way, you'll be able to earn some money as long as you're willing to participate in the pool. Once you start earning, you'll be able to share in the profits. The majority of cryptocurrency mining is done with application-specific integrated circuits and specialized graphics processing units. If you can't afford to buy a special computer for crypto mining, you can join a mining pool instead. It's important to note that there are some risks associated with crypto mining. Why it's possible to make money from cryptocurrency mining, you should always be aware of the risk. In addition to gaining profits from crypto mining, it's also important to be aware of the legal issues. In the long run, you should avoid crypto bots. You also want to consider the financial risk associated with cryptocurrency miners. In the long run, it's worth investing your time and money in cryptocurrency and in that market. Besides being a great way to make money with cryptos, it's also a good idea to understand the risk involved with the cryptocurrency mining. Why it's important to remember that there are risks associated with this type of investment, you should still take the precautions to protect yourself from the risks that are associated with crypto mining. You should not risk your own finances by mining cryptocurrency. It's important to be sure that you understand what you're doing. Once you understand what cryptocurrency mining is, you should be able to make some money from it. You can earn a lot of money from it if you use the right tools. But if you're not a computer expert, you need to hire someone to help you. You need to hire a specialist to help you with the software and the hardware. A good computer repair service will know what to do in the software and the hardware, usually. When it comes to mining cryptocurrencies, it's crucial to understand the difference between a centralized and decentralized system. The traditional banking system has a centralized authority, maintains a centralized record of all transactions. This makes it very easy to tamper with a network. Fortunately, crypto mining is far more secure than a centralized banking system. It has no central authority. And the security of the blockchain is the most secure. Let's say that again. And the security of a blockchain is the most important aspect of cryptocurrency. Before starting to mine cryptocurrencies, it's important to understand how the process works. Besides having a good understanding of how to make money mining, you should be prepared with the cost. In the early days, the cryptocurrency market, you can use a PC or other device to mine Bitcoin. The cost of these resources can add up quickly, and you should be aware of these costs. When starting a new business, if you're serious about cryptocurrency mining, make sure you have enough processing power and electricity. So finally, let's talk about crypto mining programs. The first cryptocurrency was created by a 36-year-old man named Satoshi Nokomoto. He spent a year developing the software to enable users to store and transfer value with it without the need of a traditional bank. The main idea behind the cryptocurrency was to create a system that was impenetrable to the unpredictable monetary policies of government and the greedy predators of bankers. The new invention was a digital coin that was controlled by software. The creation of the first cryptocurrency was a lottery that would release a new coin every 10 minutes. The fastest computer would win the most money. The Chinese government had stepped in to control the emerging currency, banning the initial coin offerings, ICOs, and mining. Many Chinese miners have fled to countries and different regions like Texas and Canada where electricity costs are low. One Canadian company even runs its mining operations from oil field sites. In June 2018, Hydro-Quebec proposed allocating 500 MW of power to crypto companies. Iceland has become a mecca for cryptocurrency miners because of its cheap electricity prices. 
While the majority of countries are still hesitant to regulate the cryptocurrency industry, a number of states are considering legalizing it to increase investor confidence. A country with a centralized regulation framework and a native sovereign cryptocurrency, or SOV, will attract investors and businesses, ultimately a thriving crypto company ecosystem for spur the growth of a new industry of, in the Marshall Islands. However, it is crucial that governments ensure that the citizens are protected by law because it is the only way to prevent a major financial collapse. The next most important decision is choosing the software. The majority of the mining software are free and um, will do the same basic job. The more important and the most important consideration here is which currency you're mining. Aside from the price, there are features and customizations that you can opt for or not. A well-built mining system and software will allow you to optimize your profits, which is crucial for the future of the cryptocurrency. But it's also worth considering the cryptocurrency you're invested in. Where the cryptocurrency has become an established investment, a growing number of cyber criminals are leveraging the technology to mine it. The first Bitcoin miners used the PC. Despite the complex the complexity of the mining process, the malware was able to infect the most popular browsers and install it on the user system. The malware mined cryptocurrencies using the victim's computers. They were unable to stop them from mining because they were botnets, and they were so popular. Although the popularity of cryptocurrency has been increasing in recent years, there's still been some concern in regard to the currency security. The Chinese government has banned initial coin offerings and stopped trading in cryptocurrency. In addition, it's also been banned in China, the act of mining. The reason for this is that it's difficult to identify these uh, malware type malicious codes. Some of the malware will use a network of computers, others will start with the money on it as it earns cryptocurrency from these computers. In February 2018, the Marshall, um, and let's talk a little bit about the start of the money used it earns with cryptocurrency. So the Marshall Islands issued the Sovereign Currency Act to establish its own cryptocurrency. Sovereign will be based on blockchain technology and serve as a legal tender for tax payments. It can even become the first crypto, but is this the world's first real money? That's a far cry from what we expected in the early years of this year's boom. But for now, there are many reasons to be optimistic about the future of crypto. The biggest concern about cryptocurrency is its legal status. It is regulated by a third party in some countries, but it's not yet legal to mine a cryptocurrency without permission of the owner. This is a serious issue, and it's essential to understand how cryptocurrencies work. A number of governments have adopted policies that prohibit it. While there are many controversies related to Bitcoin, its legality is still unclear. In this case, it's not illegal to mine cryptocurrencies. Why this may be the most least stressful decision, it's important to make the right choice for your needs. It's a good idea to use a program that offers features and customizations that are not available in free versions. If you are unsure about which currency you want to mine, you can use a free version of an application that's designed to mine only one type of cryptocurrency. It will also help you keep up with the current market value of your chosen cryptocurrency. So I hope that's been helpful. This has been a great, great look at crypto mining. Please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and we will see you soon.